like eight. We are navy blue. As teams get ready for action here. We are underway here at Waterford Mott High School in a quick attack over the far, the far touchline for Futsal Factory will get us rolling into Detroit with the throw in. On the initial touch for Futsal was Kai Jurgle, number eight. We talked about in the pregame. Inter Detroit did have a chance to open up their season a week early. They played in an amateur cup. They were tied 0 0 at the half with the Michigan Star semi pro, but ended up losing that contest 3 to nothing. I'm sure they are eager to get back on the winning track here tonight. And the factory trying to dribble through the defense early, looking for an opportunity in the box, crossing, going across the face of the net. And right away, the factory is rolling. Back of the net is where the ball is found. That did not take very long here today. The, one of the first attacks the Futsal Factory had on the attacking third, crossing over the front of the face of the net. Just in the second minute of play, Number 20, Lucas Yusian, left alone in a goal mouth scramble in front of the goal, about six yards out, able to knock home his first opportunity. First shot of the game for either side. Just like that, a one nothing league. Nick Ross with the assist for Fusal Factory. Ross got free on the right side, beat a defender, got down to the touch line and slammed across into the goal mouth area. And right away, Inter Detroit is on the is on their back foot here. Got to play catch up now for the rest of the game, at least. Not the way you want to start a game of any level. The fall behind one to nil in the first two minutes of play. Zach Townsend trying to feed a breakaway before the factory keeper sends it back. Kerry Wixom, the keeper for the factory. Detroit looking for an attack themselves. Some smooth moves over, try to get to the close wing. The touchline goes out to the, to the dark blue turf here for those watching on MSN on YouTube, as well as on Caffeine TV, simulcasting here for, for today. Into Detroit in close quarters here. Defense able to boot that one out quickly. Down there in the southwest Detroit and his elder son, Trey. Trey Townsend, some Hor call him Mr. Oakland. <laughs> Horizon League Player of the Year this past winter in men's basketball. Recently signed through the transfer portal with Arizona. And they can't say Arizona of the Pac-12 anymore. <laughs> Arizona is making a move to the Big 12. <laughs> as the Pac-12 pretty much is dissolving at the end of the school year. <laughs> yeah, photographer Skip Townsend never misses a shot of any of the star athletes. The ball finds its way to the turf. And it comes the college and high school club semi-pro. Mr. Townsend seems like he is all over Oakland County when it comes to sports photography. Great oh, yeah. guy. Very well respected, well liked in the sports community here. In the factory. In the mighty Oakland County. Factory looking for another opportunity there. Chasing down the keeper. Still able to get it away in time. Robert Wright, the keeper for Inter Detroit. Robert Wright prepped at nearby Clarkston High School. And it looks like a Another potential breakaway here, shot, and that one will find its way. Bouncing off the left goal post. Yathian, just over five minutes of play here. 
It looked like uh, Lucas Yassian, who had the first goal, set up that shot. Two goals. and Talk about opening the game and being shell shot. Inner Detroit has now given up five goals on the season, and we've only played one game and five and a half minutes of action. And this is from one of the most dominating teams in the Midwest Premier League the last couple of years. A stunner so far to start it out. Detroit needing to put in the work to give themselves a fighting chance for the, the next 85 minutes of play. Keeper comes out for the free kick for the factory. Sends that one the distance. Looking for open space here. Trying to get it past the defending third. As the sun starts to peek out here in Waterford. We've had overcast skies most of the day when we were out in Washington Township early this afternoon for another Midwest Premier League game. We had some uh, rain showers that came through at halftime. Fortunately that we were inside the Michigan Star Sports Center. Out of harm's way. <laughs> <laughs> but, with, but with that dome, you heard every drop of it. <laughs> yeah, it sounded a lot worse than it really was outside. By the time we left, the concrete was already dry outside. And we're fortunate we haven't had the weather a lot of other states have had here in the last three weeks with a lot of huge tornadoes. And here's Detroit with a shot. That one just outside the posts. D Detroit may making their necessary aggressive moves to try and get back in this game with a shot. To cut into the deficit, Balin lays it in in front of the net. Townsend looking for it, couldn't get control of it, is kicked uh, into his chest before coming out. Zach Townsend in the Detroit center back tonight, was actually an All-State forward when he played at Oxford High School. First team All-State back in the fall of 2020. As a junior in the winter of 2019-2020, he helped Oxford reach the Class A uh, regional finals in boys basketball. Along with his aforementioned older brother, Trey Townsend, who is now transferring to Arizona for basketball. And Detroit with an opportunity here, a backwards pass off the heel, could not find the target there, Factory. Back with at least temporary control, bringing it across the center line. In the next five minutes of this broadcast, brought to you by Granite City Food and Brewery. Eat good eats, drink good drinks, and have great times. Visit their Troy location on the corner of I-75 and 16 Mile in Troy, or at the corner of 7 Mile and Haggerty in Northville. Check out their daily specials today for Granite City Food and Brewery. Right in front of the net there, number three! Finds the back of the net for the... Three goals by the visiting... Factory running all three shifts. Cylinders here to start this match. Being called offsides, but... It's, it's and at the center line of battle here, Zach Townsend looking to take it across before a trip. Detroit. That last goal was scored by number nine, JP Asimacher. Hometown fan to the far wing. Detroit looking to get a shot on goal. They do, forcing the keeper to get up and at him. Gary Wixom scooping it up, safe and sound. Wixom, another Ann Arbor area standout on the high school circuit a few years ago. It's 2019 Ann Arbor Skyline side. Merges the Division I state champs. He was the starting goalkeeper that season. Hoping the Eagles win their second state crown. At the center line, Factory putting the moves on to find open space. They'll now slow it down near the, on our near touch line. Detroit trying to turn it around as their contact will bring it. It's our success. Your financial goals are the sole focus. Entering the attacking, entering the box there, a crossing pass will be scooped up by right. Goalkeeper for Detroit not letting another one through. 
two or three Foosball Factory's goals came off crosses where Wright wasn't able to get a hand on the ball. And, you know, part of that is simply Inner Detroit's marking backs not marking up when the opposition is on the attack. Those of you who just joined us, three nothing advantage for Foosball Factory. All goals coming in the first 10 minutes of action. In fact, the first one, Giovanni, minute and a half into the contest and the first shot of the game. We barely got through our intro. <laughs> <laughs> so Inner Detroit trying to find answers. They lost three nothing last week in a around the country today. Muhammad getting, stealing the, getting into the passing lane of the factory. Causing them to boot it out from the keeper's foot. And, and, and Detroit gave up three goals last week against the Michigan Stars, who they will see in conference play later this summer. And now they find themselves in a huge 3 nothing hole here to start this game. So we entered the f just about the 14th minute of action. Foosball Factory has a three to one, three to two shots advantage, three to one on frame, and they are up three nil early in this contest. Zach Townsend. And, and a trick pass here, be, beating the keeper to get the first one on the board. Fifty yards. Gavin Bros is able to stay on side just by inches. Foosball Factory, so. Inner Detroit finally netting their first goal of the season. They are still down three to one. But a goal like that, it was just almost into the hands of the keeper in a swift, soft touch. Got it, basically disappeared out of the keeper's hands, leaving a open net opportunity. Just basically stole it right out of the keeper's hands. Fantastic goal by Gavin Bros. Another service there, uh, making sure not to use the hands outside the box, a header to keep it outside of the box. And Detroit on offense again, looking for a cross. Couldn't find it, just off a small tap from the factory defense, interrupting the soft crossing pass. So Gavin Bros able to finally put his team onto the scoreboard for the first time this season. Bros graduated from Livonia Stevenson a couple years ago. Now on the roster at Schoolcraft Community College down in Livonia. They'll send it back to the keeper, reset all the positioning there. Balin with it now for Detroit. For those of you just joining us on our YouTube channel, we are about the 16 and a half minute mark. Three to one advantage for the visiting Dexter Michigan based Foosball Factory. And into Detroit with a potential breakaway. But they keep their possession alive. You can definitely tell the aggression they're playing with. Feeding that one to the close wing. Putting on an individual moves there, finds some open space, gets the shot off low and into the chest of the keeper. Shake two defenders, go to his right side, placing good distance of the ball for that shot. And at this point in the game, like you, you gotta just, it, you almost have to, yeah, at least try. Yeah, you have to. You have you, to get the shots up. You have to force the goalkeeper to make decisions, make saves, come off his line. And it, it was beneficial because in that first goal by Inter Detroit, Kira Wixon was forced off his line. Gavin Bros made a great play to beat him, and he tucked it into the open net. But they have a lot of damage control to uh, clean up as they gave up three goals inside the first 10 minutes of this game. Foosball Factory scoring on their first three shots of the match. And trying to get into that attacking third. The Factory takes it themselves. Slowing down, getting the cross over. A hard touch there, lands it still in the middle of that attacking 
third. Awesome Another locker. shot off the hands. And it's a potential disaster. Had the ball come off the keeper's shin into the net. They called an indirect. Under Detroit, inner Detroit, they don't want to touch. There's the shot. That one finds the back of the net for number four. And you know, Lucas Miller on the assist, the free kick. He just barely touched it. And highlight video program. Our program is designed for every player's needs and budget. Whether you already have a video here, crossing a goal at the top of the top of the arc here. It's getting more congested, and the more they wait, they they spread it out. They had numbers, unable to get a shot off. Is Hoots all factor to get his defenders and midfielders back? And there's a feed to draw and stick right on the call. Four to one game in favor of visiting Foosball Factory. The factory, as you said, were working all three shifts. They took a three nothing advantage in the first. Only the watch. That's it. Three goal deficit. So, Foosball Factory. Five shots, five on frame, four goals. You talk about a team having the absolute mightest touch to open up the game. Everything they touch, it apparently does dirt turn to gold. Is into Detroit looking to spread it out here. It's crowded on the far touch line. There's the feed. Stays on side. Got to beat his man. Stops it, crosses it over, shot attempt, just rolling through in the Inter Detroit gets their second in what is a high score. Able to capitalize on that. He's seen six goal G. Opposing team, that one will result in opportunities like this with. Off the header, spreading out towards midfield. Detroit's there to feed it back in. Second corner kick of the match, but Inner Detroit unable to capitalize on those opportunities. Futsal very aware of where the open space is. You can tell by the way they're stopping on the dot, letting defenders go past them, finding the open space. They're having great ball control in that sense. Yeah, the referee trying to <laughs> evade the passing lane. It gets crowded at, at certain points, referee. You got to be careful. <laughs> Inner Detroit's actually had more of the possession in the first 25 minutes of this game, but find themselves in that 4 2 hole. But they are not out of the game. They just made it, cut it down to 4 2. They were down 3 nothing at one point, 4 1 here a few minutes ago. Yeah, don't think by the score that this game is over. By no <laughs> means, by the way the scoring's been going, is this game Football over fa any sooner. <laughs> Foosball Factory's attempted five shots, all on frame, and four have found the back webbing of the net. Balin feeding the close swing. Detroit's trying to find some space there. Factory looking to take it away. Towns in there to bring it back to the silver. There's the feed, staying on sides, forcing the keeper out. Not quite, still called offside. You know, when they were down so much so early, some of those offsides are going to come with that aggression. But the way the game's been going, you got to go for it. Share us on our YouTube channel as well as all over social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and so much more. You can check out some of our... In studio, on location shows, hundreds of games broadcasted live, as well as thousands of stories up on the website from the last three years. Feeding it back to the keeper for the factory. Still looking to spread it out in that defending third. Find an open man on the opposite touch, opposite touch line before bringing it back. 
The next few minutes of this broadcast brought to you by National Soccer Club. Achieving more together, learn more about joining the Nationals family. Visit nationalsoccer.com and learn more about tryouts and all the Nationals have to offer. Robert Wright, keeper for into Detroit, feeding it softly to his defense. Just got notification that a horse, Mystic Dan, won the Kentucky Derby today. It's all in the name, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> shout, out that. <laughs> shout out to Dan's everywhere. <laughs> Factor able to feed that one back to the keeper. But this time the factory able to Keep that exchange clean between defender and keeper. This is a game two of a double header to today. We are out in Washington Township, Michigan, earlier this afternoon for another Midwest Premier League match. Michigan Stars prevailing over visiting Livonia City SC, four to nothing. And the Michigan Stars will actually play both of these teams in the upcoming weeks. Same thing as the Livonia City FC. On the far touchline, teams battling for possession in the middle third. Factory, a little contact there before Factory continues their breakaway. Looking into the box, forcing the keeper out. Great effort by J.P. Asamacher to slip it through. Number 20, Lucas is saying. Uh, more than likely, statistically, a lot of those breakaways are leading to